Hello, this is Merry Christmas, Old Armadillo. The setting of this story is a mesa, and that's what we're going to be thinking about. What is a mesa and comparing it to a plateau? We live on a plateau here in Tennessee on Signal Mountain, and our story starts out with Merry Christmas, Old Armadillo. And there's Old Armadillo getting out all of his Christmas things. Old Armadillo lived all alone on a casita on a mesa above the tiny village of Santa Rosa. And one Christmas Eve, bells rang out from the village church and choir voices sailed on the air. At sounds, old Armadillo perked up and went to the door. Merry Christmas, he called, swinging it wide, but nobody was there. At his gate, old Armadillo looked this way and that, and he looked that way and this. But there was only the sound of the church bells and the church choir voices and the gentle shh, shh, shh of the ristra on, that swayed against the gate in the breeze. So here he is. He's all by himself. There he is again. Sighing, old armadillo brushed away a tear and checked his letter basket one more time. It was still empty. He thought, Christmas, what's all the fuss? And gloom and brooding... He shuffled back inside, sat down by the fire, and drifted off to sleep, kicking up a snore that rattled the windows. And outside, outside, we have our roadrunner. Someone tiptoed here and there in the garden. It was roadrunner, and he was setting out the luminaires, and they glimmered everywhere. Even the branches of the giant saguaro outside, old armadillo's casita, glowed softly against the night sky. So he's putting out these luminaires, these little paper bags that they fill with sand at the bottom and then they put a candle in there and it, and it lights the way. Inside, old armadillo kept on snoring and outside. Outside, his friends are putting a wreath on his door. So it says, Picari was puffing from her climb. I hope I'm not late. Roadrunner shook his head and helped Picari hang the piney wreath on the ancient door, and inside old armadillo is still snoring. Voices whispered, I hope these will do. Coyote set down a crate of apples and grapefruits and pears, and the light of the luminaires, they shimmered red and yellow and green, and Roadrunner nodded. They're perfect, he said, and inside old armadillo kept on snoring. And her acorns and walnuts clicked and clacked as Snake gave his tail a shake. This had better be worth it, he hissed, sounding cross. The others laughed and untangled the string of nuts from Snake's tail. And inside, old Armadillo kept on snoring. And outside, voices oohed and awed and tortoise had brought a cactus with beautiful red blossoms and a raccoon offered a water lily. And inside, old Armadillo kept on snoring. And outside, you can see... There he is snoring outside. Feet paced and eyes peered down the path into the darkness. Oh, where is Bear? asked Roadrunner. Ah, oh, that sounds like him now, Picari said. And there's Bear. He finally arrived. Bear yawned again and patted his mouth with his paw. I'm late, I know. I can sleep through almost anything, but not this. Did you bring it? asked Roadrunner. Did you forget it? I'm sleepy, he said, Bear Bear said, sending, uh, sounding hurt, not forgetful. Well, let's do it then, Roadrunner said. And inside, old Armadillo was still snoring. And outside, paws tried the knocker. And inside, old Armadillo kept on snoring. And outside, noses pressed against the window panes and knuckles wrapped on the glass. And inside, old Armadillo kept on snoring. This hammered on the doors. Voices shouted. Inside, old armadillo kept on snoring. And outside, it got quiet and still. And inside, it suddenly became just as quiet and still. And old armadillo woke with a jump. Who's there, he said. Who's there? And old armadillo went to the door. And he thought, such a bother. Such a fuss. And out he went to greet his friend. The night air had become crisp, and stars now sparkled white in the deep blue sky. Merry Christmas, voices chimed. 
My old friends, old Armadillo said, surprised. It's been a long time. I thought you had forgotten me. It has been a long time, said Roadrunner, but a friend is not easily forgotten. And old Armadillo looked into the garden beyond his friends, and the Christmas tree nearly took his breath away. Oh, he said. And there it is. Merry Christmas, old Armadillo, said his friends, and then one by one their voices joined with the those of the choir at the church far below. And then the festive bells began to ring out again, and old Armadillo thought Christmas, such a wonderful fuss. Merry Christmas, everyone. And that Christmas Eve, on a mesa above Santa Rosa, the joyous sound of friendship and love filled the night. Merry Christmas, old Armadillo.